Hello and welcome uh, to this info session about our upcoming course, uh, Finish STEAM Learning in the Early Childhood Education. And uh, uh, this uh, new year, new course, new beginning. So we have our trainer, Christoph, with us to present about uh, this course. Uh, as we all know, uh, the world is interested in the Finnish education and the different things that we do here in Finland. So Christoph is much experienced in the STEM-based uh, learning within the Finnish schools. So I welcome you, Christoph, and I request you to uh, give uh, us more information about what is this course and uh, what we are going to learn through this course. Over to you, Christoph. Thank you very much, Shirin. So my name is uh, Christoph Fenvesi. I'm really happy uh, to meet uh, with the audience of uh, Creative Council uh, of Education uh, Finland. And I'm working in the Finnish Institute for Educational Research in the University of Jyväskylä. I'm also a member of the Innovative Learning Environments Research Group and the director of founder of Experience Workshop STEAM Network. I was really happy to hear that uh, there are more and more uh, interests uh, and uh, inquiries about Finnish kindergartens and especially early childhood education and uh, care system in Finland. And uh, it was also uh, very exciting to learn about that uh, CCs, uh, participants, audience, uh, people, are more and more interested towards STEAM education. But what STEAM means? So this STEAM means the combination between science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And of course, it's in a playful uh, way, a playful combination. And we thought with the CCE that why not uh, combine the two? Why not give a, a report, a, a course, an insight, about uh, the Finnish STEAM education in kindergartens. So how this integration between subjects, how the integration between science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics in a playful way are taking place in Finnish kindergartens in the perspective of Finnish uh, multidisciplinary education. So for those who are considering uh, to sign up uh, for this course, uh, we uh, prepared, we collected a virtual tour uh, in a Finnish kindergarten. So uh, you can start uh, to watch uh, a video and we have a little preliminary task just to prepare you, to put you in the mindset uh, about uh, Finnish kindergartens. So you can check out this video and also check out uh, this uh, little task, uh, what we prepared for you. And uh, we hope that uh, already uh, during uh, this um, preliminary uh, task, uh, you will uh, see a lot of things, you will recognize a lot of things which raise your interest, uh, what you want to get uh, to know more about. And this course is especially about uh, to opening up uh, these details what might get interest you when watching this little virtual tour in a real Finnish uh, kindergarten. So what you can hope, what you can uh, get uh, from this course. We really uh, want uh, to uh, give you insight into the best practices uh, from Finland for developing imagination, creativity, and mathematical thinking skills through playful science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics learning. And of course, when we talk about kindergartens, when we talk about the youngest age, the emphasis will be on the, on the playfulness and also on the practices, because um, this course uh, won't be like um, a usual theoretical course when we will uh, burden you with a lot of theories. Of course, the theoretical background will be always there. It will be always given, but we will put the emphasis on those practices, on those kind of games, those kind of plays, what you can try right away in your own kindergarten or at home or in your own uh, educational practice 
uh, whatever environment uh, are you interested uh, to develop uh, your skills for. So with experience workshop uh, and uh, also in the uh, Finnish Institute for Educational Research, we have a long past in uh, STEAM learning, in multidisciplinary learning, in, in the learning on this integrated uh, way, and especially learning by doing, learning through activities. You can see uh, some pictures uh, on this um, um, slide which show this colorful world which uh, we really would like to offer uh, for the children and uh, also we have a lot of digital tools and also uh, different kind of apps and uh, devices uh, to be recommended uh, in addition uh, to the physical activities especially in the time of uh, this remote uh, uh, and hybrid way of education what we are experiencing currently due to the covid 19 crisis so uh, why we created this course for you you could you could you could ask uh, from us first of all so Finnish school system and early childhood education have a good global reputation with an emphasis on holistic and child-centered learning so this holistic and child-centered aspect uh, will be definitely among uh, those concepts and those practices which we would like to ex 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 explore, discover more in detail. And um, actually, uh, these are all uh, consisted of several didactical and activity-based uh, um, concepts and, and, and approaches which we would like to open up uh, for you and which we would like to share with you to encourage you also to use and implement uh, these uh, solutions, these approaches in your everyday work. So this would be the overall goal to help you, to support you, to encourage you in uh, this uh, transformation of your everyday practice, uh, what you might have planned long time ago or what you just planning uh, right now or thinking about uh, right now. And uh, for this, uh, you can also check out uh, these links um, on CC's webpage uh, in the presentation, where we invite you also a virtual tour with experience workshop to give you more insight into the tools and uh, those playful uh, solutions, uh, what we are uh, collecting and offering and what we are researching about. And here, uh, I would like to tell you also the main chapters the main sessions the main topics uh, of this course uh, especially from the didactical didactics uh, viewpoint so when you will sign up and when you will um, when you will accomplish uh, all tasks and all uh, all all details of this uh, course when you get familiarized with yourself you can be sure that you have done a master class for getting familiar with the essence of Finnish early childhood pedagogy and what are these chapters we first of all would like to introduce you to the Finnish early childhood education and care as a framework, as a as a as a as a big picture, uh, and also uh, have uh, some uh, details uh, about uh, the uh, traditions uh, in Finland and also some future visions uh, that where uh, this uh, system is heading uh, towards and what are the the challenges also in in Finnish education. So we definitely not want to concentrate only on the bright side because education is facing a lot of challenges obstacles uh, nowadays because of many many reasons uh, covid 19 which i already mentioned is certainly the hugest but we knew many challenges even before so uh, we also would like to show you the finnish way of how to how to bridge how to uh, um, how to uh, uh, go through uh, these kind of uh, challenging uh, situations and how to get uh, benefit and how to turn disadvantages into advantages in, in certain uh, uh, situations. In the next session, um, we will uh, learn more and know more about the 
play, learning, and evaluation in Finnish kindergartens. We would like to share with you a lot of uh, easy to be implemented evaluation practices and also uh, get more insight uh, into the structure of the day in Finnish kindergarten, how to organize uh, the everyday life uh, in, in the kindergartens and uh, we hope that it will inspire you also uh, to uh, find out or uh, uh, implement new practices uh, in your own uh, uh, own place or in your own environment. We will have uh, a special session concentrating, focusing on the uh, skill and competence development in Finnish kindergartens. Actually, uh, the whole Finnish education system, starting from uh, the early childhood uh, to the uh, university level, higher higher education level, it's competence based, skill based uh, uh, system, and uh, we put a, a great emphasis on implementation application of learning and we will show in this session that how it is taking place uh, in the in the kindergarten level in the early childhood level and when we were uh, mentioning that uh, we will talk about STEAM mostly and we will mo focusing on uh, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics combination on this playful way. Of course, mathematical and logical thinking introduced in a playful format uh, through games uh, will be a special session uh, in, our, in our program. So in this session, we would like to offer you uh, a selection of uh, games, of uh, plays, uh, which uh, you can uh, try easily uh, in your own practice. And we will be very interested uh, about uh, your uh, own ideas and your own insights and your experiences uh, based on this. And also, in addition, uh, additionally to the Finnish models, to your own uh, practices, what you were already doing, uh, maybe uh, in, in, in order uh, to develop uh, these uh, fields. Then uh, we will also uh, pay uh, great attention to the uh, visual uh, environment uh, around us and the real world around us, of course, real phenomenon, nature offers uh, the main uh, sources uh, for uh, learning and uh, we will have a session to how to uh, implement uh, this playful discovery of patterns and especially symmetries uh, on, on an exciting way as part of uh, body movement and as part of uh, creativity and uh, artistic uh, practices and design uh, practices uh, on early childhood uh, level. I really hope that you will enjoy uh, these uh, uh, practices, what we will uh, share with you. And also we would like to relearn, rediscover uh, those kind of very basic activities like playing with building blocks, uh, which is very basic. Of course, it doesn't require any technology and probably one of the most ancient uh, forms uh, of, uh, of playing uh, in, in early childhood uh, level and how we can implement uh, playing with building blocks for building up thinking and if you think about that even artificial intelligence is uh, trained uh, by playing uh, these kind of children games you can uh, easily see uh, the connection uh, but we also would like to put the emphasis on imagination here so not only uh, problem solving and not only um, knowledge but of course uh, imagination and play uh, will be in our focus. And when I'm uh, talking about this, I shouldn't forget about the developing motoric uh, and cognitive skills. So we would like to recommend you a lot of moving, a lot of movement, a lot of physical activities, and even doing mathematics and playing mathematics in motion. This uh, will be uh, in, a, in a separate uh, session. So mathematics in, in motion, embodied learning uh, techniques uh, in the Finnish kindergarten, again, on a playful way.
So, and in the end, uh, we will uh, celebrate your achievements and we would like to encourage you all over this course that <clears throat> you try out uh, these methods, these approaches in your own context and uh, we will come together and, uh, uh, and, and see and celebrate together what you have achieved and uh, what were your experiences uh, based on what this co course uh, might uh, offer uh, for you. So this will be also included. So to sum up uh, this uh, introduction, the STEAM Kit course is made for you if you want to know more about how to teach through play and how to strengthen children's lifelong learning as well as the skills the children will need in the future and uh, how this can be started already in the kindergarten and how the integration between science, technology, engineering and art and mathematics in the form of games and plays uh, can be introduced in, already in this early phase. And if you want uh, to see a little bit more uh, breakdown of uh, the, the content you can see on this slide that we really want to put the emphasis on uh, sharing with you new activities and also we would like to invite you to share your own invention your own creativity uh, based on this uh, with us uh, in the in the uh, framework of this course I would like to say thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can also contact me or CC. And also you are welcome to check out uh, the uh, details of this course on www.ccfinland.org, uh, Finnish STEAM Edu uh, website. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Christoph, for this wonderful presentation. Now, I have uh, with me uh, Danika Savarkar and Simran Balani. These are my colleagues. And also, uh, they would like to ask you some questions about uh, the uh, course uh, that you have presented just now. So, uh, Simran, uh, would you like to go first? Yes. Thank you so much, Shireen. And uh, Christoph, that was a great presentation. Thank and, you. Uh, it is uh, it's really insightful for people who would want to, to take up this course and uh, i have just a couple of quick questions that uh, in this new normal uh, mm -hmm. what would you tell the budding students why is stem so important given that we are in this new normal uh, remote learning mode yes um, actually uh, this situation i think um, called uh, or attention uh, to the to, to what is not sure what is uncertain around yeah. us and uh, yeah. this is definitely a, a problem uh, to solve so we can get a lesson of a problem solving where creativity is needed not only to solve this big problem but also to find out what to do until we solve the problem and what we what and how we can do after we solved uh, this problem and also this lockdown period i think created a great challenge especially for those parents and those educators who are working with small children uh, i mean small like uh, under 10 uh, i would uh, also even a little bit extend uh, this scope of early childhood education when I'm saying that. So uh, I, I, I'm sure that uh, this course uh, can also offer a lot uh, also for parents uh, who are not um, actually uh, specialists uh, uh, in, in professional way, but uh, yeah, in, in their private life uh, professionals of education. Yes, sounds good. Yes, thank you so much for answering that question. And it is so well said that this course is also important for parents and also parents who are doing homeschooling or also teachers who are designing their own content to exactly. impart their learning to children. And this course becomes like a Bible for them to start STEM and not wait for this lockdown or things to um, move any further. But we can start now with the help of this course. Thank you so much, Christoph, thank for answering you. my question. Mm -hmm. Now, Danika, would you like to post your question? Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you uh, for this presentation. Uh, my questions are uh, slightly uh, related to age group, though you have already mentioned that EC, 
uh but uh, now just uh, you have mentioned that under 10 kids will be they can participate in this program but is there any starting age is there any specific limit for starting age that is the one question and other question i will same in the same uh, session i will ask uh whatever the experiments or projects you would like to continue with this uh, course so in that only kids can uh, involve or parents also can uh, th their involvement will be there so that is uh, what exactly the expectation from parents and kids okay this is an important question so this course is uh, definitely for adults so it's not uh, addressed the course itself is not addressed uh, for children because uh, we will more uh, uh, work on how to work uh, with children so uh, parents uh, and all uh, people uh, who have interest uh, to work uh, with children are warmly welcome uh, to join and uh, the most useful it will be i think for early childhood educators and primary school educators but of course if a secondary uh, school teacher would like to see this continuum and ex uh, and and maybe uh, have an interest uh, to see what's happening before children kids teens arriving into high school and secondary school this uh, can be very important uh, and thought provoking uh, course uh, for for them too but what i would like to emphasize that we will uh, collect a lot of practices what the course participants can implement with their own practice with children so not inside the course uh, uh, will be the children program uh, we might have another course uh, for children if if there is such interest of course we are doing a lot of um, online programs uh, for children as well and also for families when parents and children are together but uh, this going to be i think another initiation and um, just to uh, answer uh, your uh, other question uh, too so uh, we will have a lot of uh, uh, projects uh, also uh, opened up and uh, we would like to encourage also the participants to start their own project in the same time when they sign up uh, for this course it won't be like obligatory uh, to do it but who has the interest the opportunity and also uh, who want uh, to have a reflection uh, for for these experiments uh, it will be a good opportunity i think uh, that we can put into conversation of these first uh, steps uh, who want to have encouragement in their in their uh, own practice okay so one more question is there related to this only so the assignments will be there for uh, kids and parents also so how it will exactly practically go the sessions and all these things yes so i think i will be able to answer this question in more details okay. so thanks for this question and i will just share my screen with all of you so that we can just go through how the uh, the progression uh, will happen for this course so uh, now if you can see my screen uh, then here you can see uh, the total duration and that is like 8 into 90 minutes session total so it is a course uh, for minimum 8 weeks and then we expect you to do a development project with that so you can do the development projects during those these 8 weeks or you can also do it after you finish learning all the modules so we can uh, keep this course minimum for 10 weeks where you will go through the content and then you uh, finish the development project as you can read here the mode of delivery is uh, there will be total eight assignments like short assignments and video content uh, like total 16 videos so each session includes one video presentation of the content and one video demonstrating a content element so there will be two videos video clips uh, normally the length of the session will be like 30 minutes each session into eight sessions is equal to 240 minutes it is the time for the video content and the reading content will be separately added into that so there will be such 16 uh, assignments including the reading content will be there so each session will include two reading resources 
so approximately one reading material will require one hour of efforts and there will be live uh, meetings so because we are a lot of uh, questions come to us about the interaction because we understand now in this uh, pandemic timings or even otherwise we like to discuss with our peers we like to discuss with our teacher so we have considered that and like our other courses of diploma in ece or in pedagogical leadership here in this course also we are going to have a live discussion session with the teacher and the peers so there will be minimum 3 such meetings will be conducted through this 10 weeks period and uh, you will be informed about all these detail uh, about this meeting details and the course details through google classroom so that is that will be our platform through which you will get all this reading material video content and all the other information related to course so the procedure is that you when you come to our page web page here then you see uh, the registration form here you have to click that you have to fill up the registration form submit it and then if you go into the pay online once you click there then you will see the option of payment and then you can make a payment all the other details can be also found on this web page so if you go through this procedure then now you already know about the content then the registration procedure and the mode of delivery you can also see that our first batch is starting from 15th of january 2021 the next batches will be announced just within a short while after the first batch begins the course certification Uh, you will get once you complete all the assignments and the development project i hope i i made it clear for all of you but please feel free if you want to ask something more i think it is it is very very clear and i also saw one more uh, very crucial information is that uh all the participants who are looking into course even if you have not started on 15th of january 2021 you still have four more weeks to enroll and go into the same uh batch uh and you can of course uh, speed up and finish off all the coursework within that stipulated time so even if you are busy on the 15th of january for example you still have time of four weeks to join this course so yeah that information is really really helpful thank you yes fantastic and uh, one uh, one more thing i would like to share here that every week we will uh, share one uh, new session with you so let's say we are sharing our first session on 15th of january so then the next session will be uploaded uh, on 22nd of january and we are keeping this one week in mind so that we know that uh, most of you are working you have uh, your other assignments to complete so uh, considering that we have given this one week time so that you can complete the course uh, with relaxation and you can absorb the content <laughs> more easily mm -hmm. so uh, thanks a lot everybody for joining uh, this info session and uh, i uh, i address to all the audience who are listening to us that please feel free to reach us at info@ccfinland.org for more questions and uh, uh, you can uh, you will always get a reply from us uh, within 48 hours so thanks a lot for joining and we will wait you uh, for the course thank you bye bye thank, thank you a lot you. see you bye -bye. in the course bye bye see bye -bye. you bye bye